searching for a day, I see better days I'm looking at my life, it ain't no fact Tell me what's the point if I gotta give it up again See me like you Hey, what's up guys, T-Rex and Mixtape God right here again And welcome again to the channel So, if you're new here, um, I do a lot of music tips, do's, don'ts, how-to's, music stuff, music marketing And just about music in general So if you know that's kind of content that you want to see Then be sure to hit that subscribe button And also like and leave a comment right down below For all those of you returning, thank you so much, I really appreciate it Thank you all so much for 100. Um, I really, it's it, it was it was really nice. It was really unexpected, but really nice. And I say thank you so much. And also, let's try to see if we can get this channel to 200. Okay, it's just one click at a time, one subscription at a time, one like at a time. Okay, so thank you all so much for that. So in this very quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your PreSonos AudioBox 96 Studio, whatever. Now I've been getting a lot of comments, like a lot of questions in the comment section right down below. You guys are seeing like. Um, you're having issues setting it up or something so it's actually quite simple so I'm just gonna show you how I set it up on my system like how I do my own setup right here and hopefully that's gonna help you out so without further ado guys let's jump straight into it alright guys so first off what you're gonna wanna do is you just get your device okay so this is my device right here it's looking all good audiobox 96 studio so first you take your microphone you plug that in right up front if you have any sort of external instrument you could also put that in the second port maybe like a guitar or something it's quite simple the next you're gonna plug in your headphones right up to the back of the device plug your headphones quite simple um i like to tie up my wires so everything's not like all over the place so that's why you see them all bundled up then next you have your power cable now this power cable is what goes into your computer now i am using the hub because someone asked me about that in the comment section i am using the hub because my system does not have ports so macbook you know in the 90s man so that's why i use the hope so but i'm just gonna plug that straight into the hope now as you can see there ain't no power coming up from the usb right now so as you can see everything's all set up right now and uh yeah i might be the only one who doesn't use a mic stand because i kind of ditched my mic stand because i just love it that way but anyway um as you can see there is a power line shown right there just to show you that it's working fine it's all connected and if you are looking for your serial number it's going to be right below your device okay it's going to be right underneath it so everything's all plugged in it's looking all good and like i said the basic thing that you just need is the power cable go straight into your computer that way your computer can see it as an accessory okay so basically that's just it like we said we ain't got ports so that's how we do it okay so we are in studio one right now and you can see my name right there t-rex dada and you can see my website so um highly suggest you guys check out the website link in the description below just right below that like button okay it's got a whole lot of content videos mixtapes songs originals you name it okay every single thing you see is listed here is right there on the website okay so right here on the left see my tabs those are my um recent tabs and let's just move into what we actually want to see now you see that my computer can read audiobox 96 okay and now if you go into that you're gonna see that my computer can actually notice the input and the output as audiobox 96 studio now we click on that if you do have maybe like a scarlet or some other interface it is gonna be showing there in the list if you actually set up everything correctly so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm gonna close this right now then I'm gonna unplug my audio box so y'all could just see something like this is a common mistake that a lot of people make so i'm gonna close the software right now then i'm gonna unplug my interface then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load the interface all over again so i'm gonna load the software right we're gonna boot studio one right from the start and everything comes up and what you're gonna see is my computer and reading the audio box okay so that's a common mistake a lot of people make be sure to set up before you open the software okay so right now it just shows MacBook speakers but some people would set up the software before they set up the hardware i, I kind of made that mistake when i first got this one so just a little pro tip right there for you guys so now i'm going to show you guys something right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in the interface with the software still open and boom guess what Audiobox 96 Studio, it's shown right there, okay, but it's not coming up as the first one. It has to come up as the first option. Right now, the first option still says MacBook Pro speakers. So if you leave it like that, everything's still gonna come from your MacBook. So what you gotta do is you gotta quit again and you gotta launch the software all over again. Now, when you do this, sometimes it still doesn't come up as the first one, as you're gonna see in a minute. 
like see that right it still doesn't come up as the first one sometimes but it is there you can actually just change it now you see that but again you gotta be careful because when you change this I actually suggest that you close the software and load it all over again because if your computer does not pick it as the first one then there's gonna be a problem you probably might not just get it to work so you can actually change it here and if it does work fine it could work it has worked for me a couple of times when I did that in fact when I was trying to put this video together it did still work but if it doesn't work then you should just go over and launch it all over again so um, real quick let's just go over like all the tabs and stuff this up here so y'all can just see what everything right here is all about so first off we have your generals tab okay basically isn't anything in here you just check like what you want to do when you set up when you start up your your studio one what you wanted to do check for updates i like to leave that one on and you could just go around and play with every single thing that's in here there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can actually do but i advise you unless you know what you're doing just be very careful okay you got your locations tab okay this is just where you want to save every single thing that's coming out of your software okay mine is just going straight to documents and i just pick it up from there then like i said you got a whole lot of export and file types and stuff still again if you want to add something you can you want to remove something you can but just be careful just so you know what you're doing if you're not a professional be sure to just take it easy okay now we see an audio box is right there is reading it now when it comes to this part i just like to leave it like this because i don't want to tweak it that much um these settings do work for me it might not work for you depends on the kind of music you want to make or what you want to do you got to just play around with it and figure out what works for you everyone has got their own kind of like unique sound and stuff like that so we move on to this tab and again advanced again like i said play around with it go over every single tab read it look at it change what you want to change but just be careful okay so you don't go ahead and ruin the whole thing so that's it for this really quick setup video guys um as y'all see i'm using a mac and so um if you're using a windows i'm pretty sure it's gonna work the same way but just try to follow the steps and really you can play around with the settings and the software and everything like that but you gotta be sure that you know what you're doing if you're not a professional okay i would love to see a lot more comments right down below a lot more questions if there's something you didn't get just let me know just ask me and i would definitely try to cover it okay i'm gonna be answering the questions right down below or if it's something i can just make into a quick video like this then i'll just do that for y'all okay so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it so also if you haven't already be sure to subscribe so you can see more content like this it's all about music stuff okay music marketing music tips how to's recording tips and all that kind of stuff okay so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to share it with someone who you know is gonna appreciate it okay so thank you all again so much for watching and i will see you in the very next video and don't forget guys be unstoppable it's gonna hold me down satisfied with nothing when i give it up to you greedy and be taking in no giving right back every time that you swap see my credit getting higher now beauty is pain i ain't got nothing to do with it uh if i gotta choose you be